Welcome to another appliance repair video where you can repair your appliance like a pro. Today we're working on a LG dryer and the issue is, is that it's not heating. First things first, what I do is check the power and make sure that we have 240 volts. I'm going to do that now. Unplug the dryer, set our voltmeter, we're checking live voltage, be careful. If you don't feel confident about checking live voltage, don't. Electrical shock can cause serious injury, so always take safety precautions. Let me make sure you see that, 240. 120, 120. Voltage checks okay. We're gonna be taking top panel off. You got one, two, and three. In order to take this dryer part, we gotta take the display board off and the front panel, take the drum out. So let's go to work. First things we gotta, we're gonna take this screw off and this screw off, two Phillips screws, and disconnect all the connectors to the control board, pretty much plug and play, and we'll be able to get the display board out. I'll do that now. Pretty much just press the tabs and wiggle the connectors out. Some of them are hard to get to. You might want to use a screwdriver to get in there. Got all my connectors out and the two screws, one on each end, Phillips screwdriver. Grab the top of the control panel and pull forward so the clips will come out. Next, we'll take out the front panel. We're gonna take out the four screws up on top and the two screws on the lower panel. Once we remove the four screws and the two screws down below that hold the front panel, the only thing that's holding it is these tabs, just one tab. You have the door switch to disconnect the white wire, notice that the white wire faces the front. You can only go one way. We're gonna be removing this top plate here. It's got four screws, one here, one here, and on the top, there. Got my four screws out of the top panel. It's just a little notch, a tab that goes into the slot there. Right there, right there. You gotta remove the light switch. We're gonna be taking off the bulkhead. We got little plastic holders that hold the harness. You can take a picture and notice how they went. Take your wiring harness and pass it over to the side. We gotta get that drum out. This piece, round piece is called the bulkhead and we have the filter cover attached to it. You can see if there's any bolts 
uh, underneath here, there's none. So all we have to take off is these four screws to take off the bulkhead. Two on each side, one up there, one there, three and four. Before taking off the bulkhead, we have to also disconnect the moisture sensor. You just press the tab and put your hands on both sides and pull it. Got my four screws out of the bulkhead. Take the top off first. In order to take the drum out, we're going to take the belt off. That white roller that you see is called the Eider Pulley. You're going to move it to the left, and that way you can take the belt off of it. The belt is also attached to the motor pulley as well. You take that off, put your both arms on both sides of the blower, move the idler pulley to the left, and that'll give you excess on the belt to just take it off of the idler pulley and the motor pulley. Put one hand on a drum, pick up the belt with the other one, and walk the drum out. So what we have here, these are the heater terminals. The reason why we have three is because we have two heaters inside here, an inner and an outer. This is the TCO, which is a thermal cutout switch. And this is the thermostat. I'll show you how to check this heater. And we're gonna, by checking by ohm, see if they have continuity. 20 ohms. 43 ohms, the inner and outer heater are good. One could be good, one could be bad. Checking the thermal fuse or thermal cutout is open. We should have at least two ohms or go down to 1.6, something like that. Checking the thermostat. And we have half an ohm, that's what we should read. Sometimes to check resistance, the numbers are jumping all around, just hold it until the numbers stop jumping and that be a true reading. So we're going to go ahead and replace the thermal fuse. White wire on the top. I don't think it really matters is uh, alternating current. You just got two screws. And we're gonna put everything back together. Same as we took it apart. I'd like to give you a quick visual how this is gonna go. The belt goes around the motor pulley. And both sides of the belt go, will go underneath the idler pulley. You're gonna be pushing the idler pulley to the left and it's gonna be both of them are going to be like that, and then the drum would already be in this hole. Mm. 
smooth side of the belt faces outside, the rib side goes against the drum. Put your drum on the rollers on the inside. Reach in both hands. I'm putting the belt on the motor pulley first, holding it up, pushing the idler pulley over to the left, putting both sides of the belt underneath the idler pulley, and that's it. Go ahead and spin your drum to make sure everything looks smooth, nothing's twisted. You see the blower moving as you turn the drum. You're ready to go. On our bulkhead. This piece goes on the drum. Put the top in first. It's gonna need a little assistance to push up on the drum to get the rollers. Fell right in. Hook up your moisture sensor. Moving right along, replacing the four screws on the bulkhead. Got my harness on my bulkhead. I'm gonna put in this top plate. These notches go in here. Put my four screws in there. Now we can put on our front panel, put the notches on the tabs. Hook up your door switch, white wire faces forward. It'll hold it, you just hook that underneath. Put your six screws in your front panel. These two didn't have to be disconnected. This come from uh, the display board going into the main board. You see how it goes in, it has to fall on these tabs. And this part has to fall in this groove. Kind of wiggle it in. A lot easier to go in and come out. Once it falls in, you got it. Putting back wiring terminals in the main control board. Putting back 
lifted up screws in the display board. Put the top panel on. Could be like an inch away from the front display board. Push it forward. Putting in our three screws in the back. One in the middle, and one in the end. I'm going to put it on speed dry. Hold down the button. Press start. And it should heat. And it's heating. Got fire in the hole. Thank you for watching. If this video has been a benefit to you, hit the like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate you. Until next time, we'll see you again.